everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I wanted to share with you how I staged my house for a very quick sale. If you haven't heard my announcement yet, I'll go ahead and link it right up here. But yes, we are moving. So if you're going to sell your house, there'll be some really great tips in this video. But also if you just want to make your home feel more welcoming to guests, there will also be some great tips in here too. So let's dive in. So the first thing I did and anyone must do when you are going to put your house on the market is to declutter. And I really focused on keeping the main chunks of furniture like the dining table or the bed or the couch in the room but removing all the smaller pieces so that the eye could really see what the potential was in the space and to give just maximum flow in the room. So for example, in my living room, I left the couch, our chair, and our TV set up, but I removed a bin full of books from the side of the couch. I removed the side table. I removed the stool that we use on the chair and just had those main pieces there in the room. I also removed any visually distracting pieces from the home. So anything that kind of made you look elsewhere when you wanted to look at the flow of the room. So there are some things that I had in my house that were visually distracting that I like for my own personal taste, but maybe someone else might not like. And one of those was this chalkboard that I had in my kitchen. I like to write little quotes on it or kind of use it to cover up the plug-in on the wall, but it was so dark that it was kind of drawing the eye to that big black spot on the wall instead of really seeing the beautiful white cabinetry. So I went ahead and removed that uh, when it was time to show the house. I wanted to really highlight the features of my home and one of those is our beautiful windows. We have wonderful natural light in this house and that is definitely a benefit. So what I did, we had our desk set up in front of our windows in the kitchen and this was a great practical place for a desk for our family because the desk was an essential area. I could sit here and work on my YouTube stuff while watching the kids play in the backyard. So practically it was a good idea. but for showing the house, not so much. It made the kitchen feel a little bit less spacious and it also was a big distraction to the eye. So we went ahead and moved the desk downstairs and this had a double blessing in it in that now this large laundry space that we have looks more on purpose. It can be used for a home office. We used it for a playroom when the kids were really small. There's a lot of space there that can be used in great ways and with the desk down there, now the potential buyer can really see that. So within this idea of decluttering, my suggestion is that you don't remove all your style or all your decor from the home. I'm saying this from someone who just went house hunting and I felt more comfortable in the homes where someone had their style present. It made the house immediately feel more homey and comfortable. Even though my style, my taste, may not match the new buyer of my home, they can see that this house has potential to be so cozy with whatever style they like because I've made it cozy with the style that I like. So I didn't remove all the things that are style specific to the cottage look that I love. I left a lot of that stuff out and my realtor actually advised me to do the same. She said, this makes your home feel that cute, cozy feel. So we kept a lot of that stuff up and out and I think it really did add to the welcoming feeling and the cozy feeling that potential buyers would be looking for. So the next thing I did was gave my house a really good top to bottom clean. I dusted and vacuumed, scrubbed floors, wiped fingerprints off the appliances, and just really gave the home a good scrub down. So many of you who've been following me for a while know that I actually did repaint the spring and that was a very accidental situation that I walked into, but it did really help my home feel ready to list. So at the time when I repainted, I had no idea I'd be selling my house. I chose a color that I absolutely love and I'm taking the paint swatch with me to consider for the next house. So that being said, I don't necessarily think you need to give your entire house a fresh paint job and here's why you might go through and repaint your entire house and then the buyer comes and repaints it whatever color they want so as long as your paint isn't incredibly damaged I think if it's clean 
and you use a magic eraser to remove any scuffs, maybe even touch up areas where it could use a little touch up. Most paint colors aren't going to be incredibly off-putting. Now if you have like a fuchsia or a lime green or something that's very taste specific, you may want to consider putting a more neutral color up, but for the most part, I don't necessarily think you need to repaint every room in order to list. A magic eraser and your touch up paint are going to be your friends. So the last thing I did was just really think about those final touches before leaving the house. So I always thought about scent and light. And so I would go ahead and open every single curtain, every single blind, just to let the most amount of light into the home. Again, this highlights the great, wonderful natural light we get in this home, but it also just makes the home feel bright and open and says, hey, welcome, come on in, instead of being closed off. So I left open all doors and all window coverings. I also turned on all the lights so that if they couldn't find the light switch, they would see that the light is there and working. And also just, again, to help the home feel welcoming and ready and bright. I thought a lot about scent. Because for me, in-house hunting, if I walk into a home and there's a scent that's off-putting, <laughs> To me, it's really hard to get into the experience of walking through the home. For me, I know I have children, you know, I make food in my home, so sometimes there can be ling lingering scents that may come across as odors. What I tried to do was scent my home in a way that wasn't off-putting. And also, you never know when the person walking through might have a hard time with chemicals. That's me. I actually am a little bit allergic to chemical scents that give me a headache almost immediately. So things like Febreze and strongly scented cleaners really aren't an option for me personally, and I do think there's a lot of people who are like me out there. So what I would do to scent the house is I would use my diffuser in the kitchen and then one downstairs in my son's room, and I would put in just a few drops of lemon or orange. A citrus scent is very rarely offensive to someone. When we smell citrus, we often associate that citrusy spell with being clean. The other thing I did was remove anything that could possibly contain odor. So as I was leaving, I would take every garbage can and every piece of dirty laundry out of my house. I put them in the trunk of my van and as we were driving away, it would be gone out of the house. There wouldn't be any garbage or laundry for strangers to see or smell in the house. I also make sure that all of my dishes were clean. If I, if I didn't have a full load to run the dishwasher, I would just go ahead and put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher being closed would be enough of an odor blocker. And just because you never know what's going to happen when your house is on the market, sometimes you get a text even an hour before someone's going to come. I would open the windows every morning and just let the house air out as much as I could to let in that fresh air as much as I could every day. So again, these are tips that you can use just to make your home smell good and feel welcoming anytime. But for me, this was specific to staging. I hope this was helpful to you guys. And yes, the photos included in this video were photos we used for our listing. My wonderful realtor took these photos and she did an amazing job. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those. Again, if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. I did do a Q&A recently, which I'll link to up here about our move, but I'd be happy to answer questions in future videos. So be sure you're subscribed and come along with us on this journey. We just sold this house. The house we're moving into is still being built. So we have a little bit of time before we're going to move in, but I'm very excited and I can't wait to show you guys the new house when it's ready. But thank you again for watching. You guys take care, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye!